Lanzarote for a British triathlon training camp. Quite a few members of the squad have been out here to escape some of the British winter and get some miles in the sunshine. Yeah, it's really hard to train back home at the moment, so it's good to come out here, get some miles on the bike and um, get some sun on your back in the pool. Um, my favourite part of the island, well apart from relaxing by the pool, is um, going for a run along the coast. It's a um, really nice soft trail and easy on the legs and just amazing views. No one else out there. It's just really pretty. I also like, um, we did a ride up Tabiasco and it's, it's a really nice hill and a really nice climb so that was one of my favourite rides um, and I did it in the sunshine, it was beautiful so yeah, views, views from the top are amazing too. Um, training here at the moment is a lot warmer than back home so it's, it's good to, to get away and allow yourself to train properly at all three disciplines whereas at home you might be a bit more restricted, a lot less riding, a lot more running on the treadmill so it's a big difference to come out here and have the freedom to do all three sports as you want. Yeah, I agree with Helen and for me I suppose it feels, um, I think Club de Santa kind of gives that training slash holiday atmosphere as well as training. It's, it's, it's a great place to relax to and um, yeah, just kind of escape from your normal normal day-to-day -day life and just do what we do but in a different environment and um, yeah, you meet up with yeah, different friends and different people who are all doing the same sport. The Santa's really popular for triathlon so you bump into a lot of triathletes and it's been a great camp and time for us to catch up with other people. I've got to see Helen and a lot of the other British triathletes. It's nice to come under one roof for a while. It's been great having Speedo here doing the photo shoot with us and, and some interviews. Um, much nicer than doing them at home in, on a beach in the, in the UK at the moment. But it's been really enjoyable to spend some time with, with everyone from Speedo and, and try out some of the new products. Yeah, it's been great. Um, it's great to get to, to know people from Speedo and um, yeah, spend a lot of time in the product, you've spent a lot of time in the wetsuits and you, you learn to love them even more when you're spending a number of hours in, in the day in them. But no, we have to, we, the great thing is when you're, you're doing photos but you're having fun at the same time and um, I've loved the two days of shooting here, it's, it's been a good laugh. One of the weaknesses in my stroke is when I get tired I, I let my um, stroke slip and I don't catch as fully as I should. So. At the moment I'm doing a lot of drills with my swimming coach back home to try and improve this. A lot of single arm stuff with one paddle, really trying to keep my arm in the right position so it's not slipping back too much. It's, it's going to take a while I think just to build up the strength in my arms but it's something I'll, I'll look to address all throughout this year. Um, a few weeks ago now, um, one of my coaches Jack Maitland and I did some underwater filming um, of my stroke and noticed once I got fatigued that I'd drop dropped my left um, elbow a bit too much whilst under the water and doing the catch. Um, my right arm strokes quite well but my left arm lets me down so again I've been working on that a fair bit, lots of single arm stuff, really focusing and, and, and breaking down the stroke and actually once a week we just do a drill focus session and, and it's great it's so you're not worrying about making times or turnarounds or getting volume in, you're just cracking down on the stroke and it, it is really important to stay on top of that, swimming is such a, a technical sport. When you're racing in the elite races and the world champs races or world cups so you do hope that everyone is going the right way but it, you know, it can go wrong in our race in the Gold Coast in 2009 we actually all followed the leader and were heading in completely the wrong direction because the sun was a lot lower than it had been earlier when we'd all practiced the course so you you really do have to take the initiative and make sure you're checking as well just to be sure and know the course swimming it in the warm-up can really help just so you can know where to sight off and not just relying on that person who might be in front. A good drill I do for sighting is when you get to do open water practice, try looking up, try, you, start, you start swimming and you, you look up after six strokes and then you look up after nine and then you look up after 12 and then you look up, up, up after 15 and you start trusting yourself more and then you try and look up only every 15 so the less you can look up the better and I think doing that helps you practice swim straight too. Uh, at my swimming club we do most of our swimming from a time-based interval. We will record heart rate in specific sessions and, and the heart rate sessions like the 2100s and they'll be recorded every time we do them but most of the time it, it's just off time which can be tough <laughs> if you're having a bad day. We always work to zones, um, there's four zones that we work to that go E1, E2A, E2B, E3 and E4, sorry I lied, that's five zones. Um, so again, that, that's similar to heart rate, so E4 is working pretty hard and then we, we drop down from that and I think that's quite a nice way to work um, and again we work on interval base too so it's good to mix it up like that. When I'm swimming in a wetsuit I'm definitely a lot faster, in a race we tend to be about a minute to, to a minute and a half faster for 1500 
I haven't actually timed myself in a pool, but on average I'd say I swim about two seconds faster at 100 in the pool for 100 reps. For me, when I put a wetsuit on in a race, again, we'll swim minute, minute and a half quicker, and um, I've done a wetsuit before on a 100 session, and I've dropped my time down to 63, so for me, it can knock, can knock over five seconds off per 100, so for me, it makes a, a massive difference.